everyone! Welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas everyone! Yes guys, this year the Christmas day falls on Friday and it means that we are going to spend the Christmas day together! So thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you for letting me be a part of your cozy Christmas day! I don't know, it's so cool, I'm very excited and today we're going to make of course something Christmas special I was thinking about making something like a Christmas Lolita doll We're going to make the most Christmas looking outfit Well, my mom is going to make it And I'm going to make a lot of gifts like boxes, packages with all kinds of tiny cute stuff for our doll to unbox Of course, we're going to make a doll, we're going to draw a face, we're going to reroute her hair and for this special day, for the special makeover, I've prepared a very special doll And this is this huge 17-inch Monster High doll You know guys, I really love working on these dolls because, yeah, because they're bigger first of all and it's really easier for me to draw I can draw everything more detailed, kind of more even colorful, more realistic I really love working on bigger dolls and I'll I also really love that this doll is fully articulated and this doll can really pose amazingly pretty on pictures Unfortunately, it's quite difficult to get these dolls nowadays I have still three of them probably in stock Including this one, yes, it's this one and probably there are still two more of them So they're going to wait for some another special occasion And this doll is going to become our Christmas special Lolita. So guys, grab something tasty to eat, something warm to drink, somebody also warm to hug and let's dive into this exciting world of Christmas special doll makeover Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos I try uploading videos every week Friday But sometimes it happens that I need a little bit more time to complete the project And then it's every second week Friday So hit the bell button to get notified about my most recent uploads And of course also please support my art here on YouTube with your likes because it really helps my channel grow it really helps me to reach more people to grow the audience so that was the intro Merry Christmas again again and again I don't know I'm so excited about it about this Christmas day and Christmas special project so let's start working guys so, first of all, we have to undress our doll, of course We will remove her shoes, all the accessories And then we'll cut her hair very, very short My hair dryer is helping me like always to make the head soft and easily removable But you know with these big dolls you have to blow hot air really for a very long time For sure for over 5 minutes at least Because this doll's head is made out of a much harder material than regular rubber doll heads So it takes really a while to kind of melt it to make it softer but after some short suffering and after trying, you know, to not break anything The head ends disconnected from the body And now I can remove the rest of the short hair that is still sitting inside of the head And after this job is finished, we can remove her makeup using pure acetone Oh 
Okay, done. Now let's give her new hair. And you know, I think I want to give her short dark hair today. Because all my dolls lately, they have long hair with curls. So I feel like doing something different for once. And also, you know, her dress and all the accessories, they will be very colorful and heavily decorated and kind of over the top. So let's keep her hairstyle more simple and more like stylish. So first of all, I'm covering her head with a couple of layers of black acrylics and then I plant new strands of hair into her head. And here we are, three days later, yeah, rerouting the big doll head takes, of course, much longer. A regular Monster High doll I can reroute, I don't know, in three hours if I really go for it. And this time it took three days, three evenings. So now let's add some glue inside of the head. And while the glue is drying, we can sand the body. Because after the glue in her head will get dry, we will cover the face and the body with a couple of layers of light nude acrylic. You can, of course, change her skin tone using just soft pastels, but you know, I'm kind of afraid I would use all my pastels on it, because her body is really big and her skin color is really intense pink. So, you know, I would have to apply quite some layers to reverse this very intense pink skin tone. So, we will first airbrush it with acrylics to create a very basic background color and then we will do all our steps with soft pastels. So when I'm happy with the coverage of the acrylics, I'm covering the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and I start drawing her face. So first of all I'm sketching the future face with watercolor pencils and then I will also take my soft pastels and I will start applying shadows and highlights and blush, trying to make her face more alive and more realistic. When the skin tone looks more or less finished, I go back to my watercolor pencils and I start working on her eyes, eyebrows and lips. And I think I want to give her brown eyes today, because all of my dolls have some, I don't know, blue or green or even purple eyes or gray eyes sometimes and I don't really go for brown eyes that often so today is the day finally In the end, I add reflections to her eyes using white acrylics and this step makes her eyes super realistic, super alive. And after this, we will also blush the doll's body. You remember, we already covered it with acrylics, but now we need to complete the makeover and we are going to cover the body with the same pastels as well to make it you know, the same color like the face and also the same kind of realistic and alive looking. Oh, 
Okay, the face and the body look very good now. This part of the makeover is finished. And now let's take a look at the dress that my mom has made for this doll. Boom, guys! <laughs> Check it out! This is the most Christmas looking dress ever, officially. You have here all kinds of Christmas attributes and ornaments on her skirt. You can see here is on Santa and Merry Christmas and Christmas trees, everything. It looks like Christmas itself, this dress, really. Very pretty, like always with lots of details, with an underskirt, with stockings and even with a mini underwear. Really super cute, I'm in love with this outfit. And now we're going to make a pair of shoes to complete the look and the shoes we're going to make out of Warbler thermoplastic. You know, this is the best craft material ever. I love my Warbler thermoplastic. So you can see I've cut out all the details of it and now we will warm it up with a hair dryer and then we'll connect all the details together to make a pair of shoes. And guys, this is where I've ended up. Our basic shoes look very good to me. So now let's cover them with acrylics. And the front of the shoes I'm decorating with red bows. So, here are the shoes that we've made today. They look super elegant, I think. And they will fit our dress absolutely perfectly. So, now let's make a couple of gifts that our doll will find under a Christmas tree. And first of all, I want to make a handbag because, you know, it's kind of always a good gift for a young lady. And we are going to use here our Warbler thermoplastic as well. So I start with making a round shaped back. It will exist out of two parts that will connect together a little bit later. So I'm making these two parts, the front and the back of the bag. So, and here are the two parts that I've told you about. I will not glue them together yet, because it would be just easier to paint them while they're still disconnected. So, and the next step is covering it with acrylics.
The same like in my Wonder Woman video from a week ago. Check it out, by the way, if you haven't seen the Wonder Woman makeover, I think it's an amazing doll. So, the same like in that video, I'm going to mix metallic pigment powders with high glossy varnish. And like this, I'm going to create a high glossy metallic paint. Because, you know, I don't think that some extra gloss and some extra metallic shine would hurt our Christmas special project. Okay, this is where I've ended up so far, and now we'll use this brand new product, a foam coat. I've bought it lately in our local cosplay store, well, in their online store, actually, here is the address, because I don't really visit real stores this year. And this is supposed to be something like a water-based primer and filler at the same time that can be used for smoothing all kinds of surfaces as well as for creating a texture and it sounds exactly like something I would need today because now we're going to kind of draw a textured Christmas tree right in the middle of our back where we have this black triangle And this looks absolutely fantastic after this foam coat gets dry. A real 3D Christmas tree. I'm very excited about this product. I think it can be really useful in my work, and my projects. So now let's cover it with acrylics, with green acrylics of course, add some metallic gloss and after this we will decorate our Christmas tree. First of all, we will attach pieces of this chain to the tree. And then I will add rhinestones that will imitate the ornaments. And guys, check it out, the Christmas tree is getting real, really, it looks absolutely cute. Now I think I want to connect the front and the back of the back together, using a piece of the golden ribbon. And now let's decorate the side of the back with this golden string. People usually use it to create nail designs, but you know actually many nail accessories can be used as decoration for doll accessories because of the tiny scale. I have really lots of products for nail design here in my studio and I use all of it just for my dolls. After this, I'm attaching a handle using the same golden ribbon.
And now let's go back to the front of our handbag for a second, because I really want to add some of these snowflakes to it. And the snowflakes are also meant to be for nail design, by the way. And then the bottom of our Christmas tree I'm going to decorate with a touch of fake snow. Oh guys, that's it! Now I think I'm finally happy with our handbag. It really looks like a mix of a handbag and a Christmas ornament. Really absolutely adorable. I'm really sure that our doll will be happy to find it under a Christmas tree. Now let's make another gift for her and this time I want to make two pairs of earrings. And for this we will use these silicone molds and also in building UV gel. Both are also meant to be for nail designs, but they're also ideal for dolls. So I fill in the molds with the gel, then I install the pins and I let it all cure in the UV LED lamp. And as a result we get two pairs of doll earrings. Really perfect. Now let's paint them with acrylics and after this we'll make some sort of a jewelry case for them, for these earrings. The case we will make out of a piece of thick foam and also out of warbler thermoplastic. And first of all, I protect the foam with masking tape and I'm going to build the top of the box around of it, around of this foam block. Yep, this is how it looks. It's gonna be like a lid of the box, the top of it, of our jewelry case. And to make the bottom part of the case, I will attach our piece of foam to the piece of warbler. This is how our case is gonna look, very cute, now let's decorate it and first of all I will apply a layer of black acrylics to make it kind of more black because now it's a little bit grayish. And then I will take another set of nail decorations, yes, <laughs> more nail decorations and we will glue them to the top of the box. A touch of glossy varnish and the box is finished! Now let's make the pins of the earrings a little bit shorter and then we can finally put the earrings into the case and our second gift is finished, guys! Okay, I'm so happy, it's going really well, and the third gift is coming actually from my mom. She has made this stuffed Christmas angel for our doll, and with this our set of gifts can be called finished, I think. 
So now we need to hide all of them into some pretty boxes. So I've printed out a couple of Christmas designs onto a photo paper. And now we will make boxes for our gifts. We will wrap the gifts and we will hide them inside of the boxes. Okay, the set of gifts has been finished. Our doll is going to have fun with them, I'm absolutely sure. But right now, we still need to style our doll's hair. And like I've told you in the beginning, we are going for a shorter hair today. And it means that we start the hairstyle with cutting her hair, actually. Then we need to make it more hanging down, because doll hair always tends to jump 90 degrees up. And I'm doing it with the help of my hair dryer. And then I still turn in the ends of her hair using a flat iron. So this is it, her new hairstyle, it looks already very 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 cute, but I still want to add a red bow to the top of her head and it will kind of bring everything together. So now we just have to attach the false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and after this we can finally put everything together and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is our Christmas special Lolita doll. She just woke up in the morning, put her best Christmas dress on and she ran quickly to the Christmas tree to check out the gifts. I don't know, what do you think guys? Which one is she gonna love most? I think it's gonna be the handbag because this is officially the most colorful and fun looking handbag I've ever made. I kept working on it for three days, I don't know the time more and more details, I just really couldn't stop and I really think that our doll is going to appreciate it, I really think she's going to like this tiny Christmas colorful handbag. And by the way guys, what have you got for Christmas this year? I think everyone has unboxed their gifts already, the same like the doll has done it today. And it would be really cool if you shared it with us, because I really find a lot of inspiration in listening 
like about gifts that made other people happy because you know maybe I need the things as well or maybe I need to give them as a gift to other people let's talk about Christmas gifts in the comments guys because I think this is a very inspiring topic to talk about well, and this doll is right now for sale, you can find her on eBay for 3 days, the link will be in the description box under this video, like always. But actually, this is not the only doll that I have for sale today, because you can also buy my beautiful Candy Lolita as well. This is another big 17-inch Monster High doll that I've repainted a couple of months ago. There was a real battle for this doll on eBay, and you know what happened to the person who has won the battle? Well, nobody knows what happened to this person, because we've never heard from them again. They've never paid, they didn't reply to my messages, they didn't react to the dispute that I had to open to cancel the transaction, so I really don't know how to explain it. First you spend three full days fighting for a doll on eBay, then you win and you disappear. So, <laughs> I don't know. Well, now this doll is back in stock, so if you want it, the link is under this video. So guys, and that was my Christmas special doll transformation of the year. I really hope you've enjoyed it today and thank you one more time for letting me become a part of your Christmas day. This is so amazing. So, and please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon, probably next week, Friday. But I'm not sure because it's again a very big project, again some kind of winter special, holiday special. I'm gonna try to complete it and upload it still on the 1st of January, but if not, then we will see each other on the 8th of January. So guys, that was it, thank you so much for being with me today, Merry Christmas again, and I will see you already very soon in my new dolly paint video. Love you guys, bye!